Crow Gunk all day. Yeah, I'm. I'm <laughs> no, I, right, I, am, I am planning on going to Smash and Splash mm-hmm. and May. I'm going to be playing Tekken, Poken, mm-hmm. and uh, probably Smash Ultimate singles just for funsies. All right. Uh, so anyway. go, going into this game, um, Sidrai versus Lucario, both very, um, very privileged characters in this game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> going to be real. Um, but anyway, so Foxtrot does have a lot of knowledge about Sidrai. He used to play the Sidrai a lot in the past, so going to be able to, not going to see anything too unfamiliar in the matchup. So Yikes, an early spirit shackle to open the match. Uh, mm-hmm. Nice CADC into the bone rush. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, so... Extreme speed to call out the acrobatics. Yes, yeah, so that, uh, that extreme speed in that situation would call out everything but the uh, back dash. So, right. um, yeah, that's not a, I don't think that's an option I see ET utilize a lot either. No, she doesn't. Um, yeah. So um, I think with uh, Foxtrot going for a, a bit more aggressive will probably be the best here because E.T. is not going to know how to work around uh, Foxtrot's tools. Yeah, not to mention, it's not often that she... Sp- oh, Ooh, wow! There you go. Okay, moving Actually around. got the cross-up uh, over the extreme speed and able to hover over the Emol... Excuse me, the Emolga. So we are getting a Mew choice from uh, Foxtrot. It's a really, really, really good pick for Lucario. Just really does everything he wants from a support. He does have the burst, and we are going to see it. Definitely still in the range. If that, if a raw burst hits, ooh, this is going to be huge right here. Yeah, fueled by oh, rage. Let's go. Wall carry. Let's it's, go. It's almost full happened. combo. Whoa. One HP. Let's okay. go. This is back in the game. Uh, baited out the burst, but that's fine. Still going to get some one, chip damage. One hit away. Okay, well, we get his burst coming out. What's the option? What's the option? Yeah, we're yes, out. there it is. BC taking round one. All right, so that was a really, really solid round one. Um, okay, so this, this is looking good. So ET definitely the um, underdog here because um, Foxtrot in the past, um, it, it was about like a year ago, but in the past it was ranked about one of the best players in the region. So, all right, so getting that nice bone rush, lots of damage coming out here. So I know I notice a big thing for Lucario is, is fishing for that sideway and field phase, as we saw from mm-hmm. uh, Foxtrot there. What answer does Decidueye have? Um, to that blocking situation? it does leave Lucario minus. Um, so right. if you just block it, you can start advancing and um, try and get out of the situation. Um, right. They can also jump out of it a lot. All right, so this is looking really, really strong for Foxtrot in this uh, game right here. Um, right. Really, just pulling against the corner, resetting everything. Oh no! Oh. Heavy attack through the burst gets the OP oh, grab. That's Fox, Very clean round Fox two. Foxtrot was like, okay, we're not take, we're not letting that happen again. This went super aggressive, which ET does struggle on the defensive side. Yeah. So I was I was gonna mention uh, I was gonna mention when you uh, when you talked about the back uh, when you talked about backdash being the correct mm-hmm. answer to that block screen. You know, um, that's one thing I noticed about ET as well is she doesn't uh, she doesn't really have a good understanding of when is a good time to disengage. Yep. Um, that's not to say she never does it. It's just mm-hmm. there's a lot of times where she should and she really doesn't. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to get out of the corner right there. Foxtrot really is putting on the pressure, realizing very quickly that going super offensive is going to be the way to go. Ooh, all right. I will say nice she... Nice yes. out of the bone rush. And very good. Going to be able to combo. get a nice Let's conversion off of that. Oh, I'm yeah. able to snag, but we don't have a full burst. I'm going ahead and going straight into it. Foxtrot probably going to hold on to her for his for a little bit longer. Right. Going into nice bone rush combo. Yeah. Waste of good amount of that meter going on. Staying away oh, out of the burst's range. Being careful trying to bait out something. Did I see a jump? It, yes, that uh, was a jump. Oh, able to go over mm. and nice punish there by Foxtrot. So that was a full burst and a mute in the back. Okay. May no. not even need to rely. No, Bone yep. Rush will snag the count the vulnerable frames of the counter. Yep, that um, that yeah. um, downward swing just avoids so many attacks. I think it avo- avoids um, like up to mid highs. Mm-hmm. Um, like during the upward swing, so you can really avoid like, things like that counter. Real quick, while we're in between nope. games, for some reason my overlay is screwing up, and uh, I can't get it to stop showing friendlies. Okay. So we are in winners round one. This is not. Yes, a this is match. not. This is bracket. <laughs> this is bracket. To anyone confused. All right. All right. So going into this, no changes from either player. Um, I will give uh, I will give Et credit though about uh, about her defensive uh, about her defensive play. She knows when to block. Yes, which yes. is a lot more than we can say about some other Nebraska yeah. players here, myself included. Oh, I, admittedly, I'm I, I definitely included in that. Yeah, okay. um, hold the R before you hold the L. Right, yep. Getting the force palm conversion got him got her against got him against the, or her against her, damn it. Sorry. Yeah, the Fox Shot really uh, is looking to be in Et's head right now. It's going super aggressive, not giving Et any room to breathe. And I know from playing with Et a lot. She really panics a lot in these kind of situations, and Foxtrot's really just putting on the pressure. 
and not giving a single second of breathe. Yikes. Falling for the 6x a lot right there. I think given uh, Foxtrot's tendency to counterattack, I'm a little surprised I'm not seeing the same no fear mm -hmm. uh, raw grabs and tick throws that I normally mm -hmm. see from her. Those would be a mm -hmm. lot better option. Um, like right there would have been yep. a great time to grab. Oh, but here we go. But it's going to be a full get combo. A yep. All right. That's the option. Oh, there we go. Gets she on the is, wall. Yeah. Uh, it goes for the reset. All right, but now that ET is in the position. Okay. All right. Yikes. Yeah, barely gets Oh, man, rush. that bone rush really getting a lot of mileage here. Uh, not long enough to endure the force palm. Gonna get a grab on landing. Still in that corner. Amolga. Amolga. It'll yes. get out of the situation. Um, does have the burst in the back. No. That was a time she should have disengaged. Nothing she could do out of the hover stance that couldn't be challenged by extreme speed. Yep. Oh and man. The extreme speed beats Fox out the first really two. just going super aggressive here. And that is that going to be it? Oh no! It get, gets out in the air, so that did avoid it. All right. Now going to burst. Really. Ooh. Okay. Can she punch? Right. No. Nope. Oh man. So lagless. Foxtrot really bringing it back there. Uh, that was a nice adaptation. Just realizing I can go super aggressive. And ET's not gonna be able to defend too much. That was really nice adaptation. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But really, really good that ET got the first game off. But yeah, Foxtrot was like downloading that whole time. It's like, okay, if I do something, ET's not hasn't been adapting. So that's, that was really good. Oh, it's okay. I 